video, I'm going to explain how to sync your actual power school to Schoology. And with step by step with this video, we'll hopefully get that sorted out. So as you realize, you first need to log into power school, go to power teacher pro, and we need to make up some categories for your courses. It always defaults the term you're in right now. Hence the fact you click on this bar out here, click on semester two, and we're going to click at summer school. So I'm going to do a physics 20 run here. I'm not going to do all the course, but some of the categories and everything have to be done. So the first things, you have to go to settings and go to traditional grade calculations. Now, this is where you would go to the pencil to make your categories. Here's my issue. I don't know what categories I have. So to do that, I need to go back to Schoology, go to my actual get started here, and we want to go under course information and we're going to find course evaluation and under course evaluation now i know what i have to put in uh, into um, power school as categories so i need four categories first things first go to total points and change that to category weighting and assignments from each lesson was 40. there is a virtual lab proportion of it so category weightings virtual labs and i believe that was 10. And then I would go to category weightings again, and there is a midterm, so midterm. Uh, I forget what that amount was, 20, okay. And then there is a final, and category weighting final. Okay, so once that is done, our next mission is to, um, did you read, if you make it with any adding error and so forth, this wouldn't match. I just tell you that right now off the back. So if you're over 100 or less than 100, so make sure it matches exactly to the weighting, just uh, saving you hassle for later. Okay, now we're going to back to Schoology and we're going to go to Power School button. And we have to match your categories with Power School to um, Schoology. But unfortunately, the weightings are. This is not added yet, meaning that you can't find any here from Schoology. So you have to make them in grade setup. We go to add and assignments. Leave the default in numbers. If you start changing them, it will affect the different discrepancy from both systems. So assignments is the first one. The next one was virtual lab. Then I had a midterm and final. Midterm and final. Okay, so these are the. If you make a spelling mistake, it's not a big deal. What counts is making sure you change the weightings next. So we said 40 for that. And final was 30. Midterm was 20. And virtual labs is 10. Well, don't forget to click Save Changes. If you don't do that, nothing gets done, what you just did. So now we're going to go to Power School and link those categories with the ones that are in Power School. Uh, so in Schoology End, Configuration. Let's give it a moment if it's slow. Okay, there we go. So I need to find assignments from each lesson. That's what we have it in. Uh, um, in power school, so match it to Schoology. Final exam has to be matched, and midterm has to be matched, and virtual labs, which is all the way in the bottom. Now, don't forget to press save, save changes. You need to have those categories now because you now are going to going back to your course in uh, um, power school. No, sorry, in um, Schoology. And you're going to go through each folder and look for, first of all, go to edit and see if this button says enabled. If it isn't, then you're going to have an issue of actually uh, making it available on uh, your, um, your grade book. You should start putting dates in so forth. So now how to put dates in? Of course, click on your due dates that was at the top of your course and we are going to now see when things are due so review was supposed to be done by july 4th so go back to here click on the uh, gear click edit and click on july 4th don't forget to click next month okay and don't forget to worry about the time but if it asks for a time just put any time like 11:59 p.m 
Now the category is important to change and we're going to change it to say assignments and then press save change. Everything else is already linked properly. So there's an easier way to do this now by going to gradebook. And currently you don't see anything here because you have to change the summer school version because it defaults to um, the current semester that you're in. And there is your one assignment. But now you want to show them all. So here's another way. Go to bulk edit and start putting in dates just right in here. And that will save the hassle it. So online school G survival quest was on July 3rd. How did I know that? I went back and looked here. There it is. Okay, same thing for the plagiarism pledge. So July 3rd. And I won't worry about the time, it will default it anyways. I'm gonna leave these ungraded. The reason why is that they're not curriculum based outcomes. So hence the fact we should not be putting a mark to it, but you want to collect their results and so forth. Hence the fact that's being done. You see how it says no grading period? We have to change that uh, to say actually this semester. And it's giving us an error because it's selecting a date that was a different, that's not currently happening. So I am going to go to July and I'm going to put July, oh no, that one's on the 4th. Okay, there we go. I'm going to change unit two quiz one is due on the 6th. Uh, July. Okay, July on the 6th. Okay, I'm just going to save changes where I am now and show you what you see on the other end now. Okay, so go back to um, Gradebook. And don't forget to change the time period. And it's only showing one still, so that means we will have to go probably to each individual assignment and change it maybe because it's not enabled and so forth. So I shall do that by going to here. And the dates there, uh, I forgot to put the category. This is why it's not appearing. So assignments. So what's most important is understanding that when you make these, when you put the categories and everything, and then they start appearing, there they are. So if you want to do the next step of actually seeing if it syncs to PowerSchool, you basically click on this little either circle with arrows or the clipboard. I like to use the clipboard feature because you have more features of selecting which ones you want to sync. Okay, so I know these two are ready to go, hence the fact these ones have errors because I have to still set them up. So I'm gonna click and click on that, it's gonna say queued. Hence the fact, uh, the reason why it's saying queued is it's in process of transferring over. You don't have to stay on this screen. You can just go directly to do other things. I like to leave it open, so for my reference, it's gonna be available. So I go to PowerSchool Pro, and I'm going to go to grading, score sheet. Currently, there's nothing appearing because it's still queued. So you have to let it, oh, now it's successful. So let me refresh. But when I refresh, of course, it defaults back to this semester I'm currently in. So then of course, as I said earlier, click on the summer school one. Oops, wrong course, physics 20. And there they are right there. So how they already put in there. Hopefully this video helps of how to set up your grade book. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me because this is a process that has to be done accordingly.